All right, guys, so after uh, a lot of frustrating messing around with numerous things and all kinds of electrical testing, I finally just pulled the computer out of the car. Can you hold the light? <clears throat> now if you can make it out, it looks like this capacitor is leaking. It's a little bit of my camera would focus. Got some goop down here. If you can see that one's definitely leaking. This other capacitor over here looks like it's okay. And then this one looks like it's starting to go. Got a little bit of... Looks like it's starting to leak. So, I'm going to take this thing and see if we can find an electronics repair shop to swap these out and see what happens. Alright guys, after uh, spending most of the day driving around trying to get this sorted out, finally got this uh, EEC-4 fixed up. These are uh, the three old capacitors. The two on the right are 47 microfarad and the one on the left is a 10 microfarad. And the 247s actually have some goop on them. And the uh, 10 microfarad was actually, I mean externally it looked fine, but according to the guy who swapped them out, he said that thing was not functioning at all. So, we got them swapped out. Guy took care of it. So we're going to try... Uh, Slamming this in there and see if the car will start up. All right, guys, it's judgment day. Yeah. Oh, got power. Four chill in there. You should be check engine light on the ignition, right? Oh, there you go.
touch that thing, that wires. Just leave it. Well, you know you're having a good day when you got the tap and die set out. Looks like the uh, factory ground here. Which is that hole on the left. You see how that's pushed up against this uh, caulking? It's that caulk line in the back there. So, <clears throat> this ring terminal can't really fit flat against the body. So, I ended up drilling a new hole and uh, tapping it and then to uh, I had to get all the paint off of there so I used this, uh, this little sanding pen so I'm gonna clean that off with alcohol and uh, try remounting this ground wire more securely All right, we did that ground. guys might be onto something here made a little timing adjustment adjustment pulled some of the fuel pressure out this car is definitely on beast mode again God, was that a warm start? I think that computer was definitely the problem. <clears throat> Alright guys, so, so far so good. Did some test driving with this computer fixed up and, uh, you know, tweaked out the timing of fuel pressure. Had to dial the fuel pressure back, I guess. I had it set to where it was working with the broken computer for whatever reason and uh, so now that everything's functioning properly I had to bring the fuel pressure back down from like 50 to about 38 psi and uh, just from driving it I, I don't know I think it might want to go back up so we just got to put the finishing tweaks on tuning it but figured I'd show you the ground we did so I just ended up drilling a hole 
getting it back from that seam sealer that's over there. You can see the old, that's the old ground to the left. So it's got a new ground on there. And uh, just got to get the computer back up where it belongs and we'll be good to go. Do a little test drive, see how she goes. All right, got the computer tucked back where it belongs. It's all straightened out. See how it starts after having the computer knocked down. I disconnected the battery to put that computer back, so. Seems like getting that computer fix made a massive difference in this car. I'm guessing that's gonna be a pretty common problem with these cars now since they're all getting older. Definitely uh, have to get some footage of driving this thing now that it's straightened out. All right, guys, so. After uh, getting the computer straightened out, I thought, eh, I should probably check the O2s. Because they're probably dirty, and they are. So I'm going to have to clean these up again. I pulled the number 5 plug. It's actually looking pretty good. I might do a little bump on the fuel pressure. Looks like we can go a little bit further on that to see how she runs. But uh, still having slight issues with that warm start, and I'm wondering if it's these uh, O2s being... A little bit dirty so I'm gonna get those cleaned up drove it yesterday ran pretty good but like I said still having a slight warm start issue so hopefully this is the fix it does seem like the cars running way better with that computer straightened out so hopefully uh, that was the issue all right just use that seafoam top engine cleaner again got them cleaned off Got the passenger side in already. Get that driver side in and uh, see how the cold start goes with this. All right. Let's see what she does.
took her for a ride. Bump the fuel pressure up. Somewhere around 45, I was at about 40 before. Running pretty hard now. Might want a little bit more fuel pressure, but I'm pretty happy with how she's running. All right, guys. After what happened with the white car, got the battery disconnected here. Pulling the computer out. You can take a look at it. So you just pull that uh, that trim panel off. There's a couple screws that hold the uh, sill plate on here. There's one next to the seat. There's one farther forward. Take those screws out, lift this up, and that kick panel will just pull out of there. And you need a 10 millimeter to disconnect the cable. It's down here, that's a 10 mil. So just start loosening it and it'll, it'll actually push the connector off for you. And then there's a little seven millimeter. See a little plastic bracket with a hole in it? That's what holds it up in there. So get that seven millimeter out of there, pull that bracket back a little bit and you can just sneak the whole uh, computer out of there. So let's uh, bust this thing open and see what's going on in here. All right, so to open this thing up, you're gonna need uh, some smaller Torx head bits. I would just go out and get the tamper-proof ones. They have these holes in the center because uh, if you're working on Mustangs, you're probably gonna come across tamper-proof Torx heads on like a mass air meter. So make sure you get the tool see if I can pop this off of here. Looks like, looks like we got the same thing starting on this one. Definitely not as bad as my white car. This capacitor just, man. Looks like it's been, <laughs> looks like it's seen better days. So, uh, I'm gonna call the guy who fixed my white car's computer, see if he's got the uh, capacitors. I know, I think he had trouble getting the 10 microfarad. I guess he found one he didn't think he even had, so I got lucky that day. So I'm gonna call him up and uh, try to get this thing over there, get these swapped out. You know, it seems like a good idea to do this. I, I think this is going to be a big problem with these cars coming down the road. And the other thing is, even if you open up your computer and they're fine, you should probably just go get them swapped out. Because if these capacitors start leaking and they damage the board, you're pretty much looking at getting another computer. So it seems like it's money uh, well spent to do, a, you know, something preemptive to prevent damaging your computer down the road. All right, guys, so just like the white car, the ground is kind of ramming in the seam sealer. This one isn't as bad as the white one, but um, there was still paint on there, so I just uh, use that prep pen again. This thing's pretty handy. I'll probably get a link for this for you guys in the description. Works out really good for stuff like this. And then I'm going to clean off the ground wire. Probably just use a hunk of this scotch pad, but, I mean, you could probably use the pen, too, if you really want to. Uh, I'm going to get that cleaned up and uh, get that ground back on there. Called the, the guy about getting the computer fixed and he's out of town so I have to wait a couple days to take it down there and get it straightened out. So for now, I'm just going through the ground I'm going to get that straightened out and then I'm going to plug the computer back in just so I can move the car. And then uh, we'll come back to this when I get the computer fixed up. Alright, got that ground straightened out. Get it back on there. I actually just ended up using the prep pen. That was easier than using this hunk of scotch pad, so that's cool. You just gotta connect the computer and it'll be good to go here. All right, so when you tighten that plug up, you just want it to butt up to the end of the computer there. So once it starts touching, you're pretty much good to go. Don't go gorilla tightening that thing up. 
got uh, three new capacitors in here. Computer for the black car. So we can get this put back together and uh, fire this thing up.